Hi, this is Nick with CFMotoUSAParts.com, and today we're going to install a 72-inch plow and push tube to this U600. Tools you need for this job today are going to be a socket wrench with a number 17, number 19, crescent wrench and a number 19, and then a number 8 Allen key. First, you're going to unbox your push tube and your plow. Your skids will come with your plow in the box. The springs for the plow will come in the push tube box. First, you'll install your skids. You can add or remove the washers to adjust the height. For this one, we're gonna take two off and put them back to the top. Install your cotter pin. and repeat on the other side. Next, you're gonna be installing your eyelets with the nuts. I thread on first one about three quarters of the way. Insert it into the top of the bracket and adjust the other hand tighten snug. Repeat with the other side. Next, you're gonna remove the nuts, bolts, and washers from the bottom of the push tube. Next, you're going to install the bolts and washers back in to the plow mount through the holes provided on the plow blade. Using a 19 millimeter wrench and socket. After installation of the bolts and washers at the bottom, you're going to temporarily remove these bolts here to reduce tension so that you can install the springs. Next, you're going to install springs. Next, you're going to pull back to be able to install the pivot stops. Now you're going to lay the plow flat, slide into the plow mount and open your bracket, and then close the mount. Next you're going to extend your winch and clip.
featured with this plow is a manual adjustment for the angle. You lift up on the red handle and turn either left or right and lock into place. Another feature on this plow is a sacrificial anode located on both sides of the blade. The push tube and plow mount. And there you have it. That was the installation of a 72 inch plow and push tube on this U4 600. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. And for all your parts needs, check out cfmotousaparts.com, operated by Current RV.